all of this foolishness with these adults needs to stop. And I'm like, come on, fruit cookie. I want to pull my soapbox, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for the pop game. This is season one and this is episode six. Like I said, we've gotten to a point, okay, a couple weeks in, all the bull crap with all the with the parents, it needs to stop. It's getting to be kind of old. The fighting with the adults is getting to be where it's starting to trickle down onto the children. Now I'm going to have a problem with it. Okay, now Ian's dad is just coming into the fold of this. And right away, he see because he's coming from the outside looking in, that this is not good. It's not good. And the first time he really experienced it, he basically told him to cut it out. You know, cut it out. And that was that. So then we had Timberland came in, and he uh, presented a dance track to the boys and a dance track to the girls, two separate ones. They must write their own lyrics to go with this track, Okay. So I said, okay, this is going to be interesting. This is now. This is getting to the where it's really getting interesting. You know, this they're really doing the business for the most part. Only thing with this program, I'm getting kind of scared because it's, the timing on the show has literally changed. The time, the day has changed. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. And then it's it's late at night. So I hope we make it to at least the, the end of the season. I hope they don't cancel or anything. But anyway, moving on. Okay. So uh, Ian actually took a chance on the song and it's a dance track, but he made it into a love song. And Ashlyn doesn't write at all. So this is the very first time that she's ever going to write. She was panicking right away. She went into her whiny mode and I was like stop it stop it stop it because I said you know in my past review I don't want to hear anymore about you only being 13 okay we get it we got it enough enough with that so okay the next thing they were actually taken to Benji Swimmer to actually get choreography um, Benji is real good Benji is very, very known in the business, him and his sister, Lacey, okay? They come from So You Think You Can Dance fame, okay? Um, everything went really, really well. Everybody kind of picked up on the dance. Of course, you know, Grant is not a dancer. Ian is not a dancer. This dancing thing... Is supposedly where Craig Tay lives, you know what I mean? And also with Ashlyn. Ashlyn has dance experience. Craig Tay was doing what she does best. She was doing the most. Um, it came across rude. It came across disrespectful. Benji's trying to, to teach, and she's interrupting him while he's teaching, asking him all these questions. Everybody knows that. Well, I took dance classes, too you know, when I was younger, so I know, you know, doesn't work. She's always just doing this extra. It's starting to get to a point where she's becoming unlikable. She really is. It's terrible because she's just a little girl, but she's becoming very unlikable and Deneen doesn't help. So what I'm starting to see in the house, Deneen and Grant's dad are both very confrontational. They really are. They're both very confrontational and they are kind of like messy and kind of live for the drama a little bit. Um, there was a scene where Ian actually talked to his dad and was telling his dad, you know, I really want to, I don't like all this conflict. I don't like it. You know, I've dealt with it in our personal life growing up. I don't like it. It's starting to wear on me. I'd like to do like a some type of an intervention. And his dad said, that's fine, and I'll help you facilitate, no problem. Well, 
as Ian was actually doing it. He wasn't being grown up or anything. It was going pretty well. But then Deneen just went over the side into team too much. Um, she ended up getting into it with Ian's dad. Because he wasn't having that. You're not going to disrespect my boy. You know, and it just it, it just went wrong. And the next thing you know, the adults were literally arguing. And then at one point, Deneen's like jumping on. No, it wasn't Deneen. It was Ashlyn's mom had said something to Grant. And it just was getting all out of whack. And all the roles are shifting and getting thrown in adults and children. And it, it was a mess. This is not what we're here for. This is not what we're here for. And at the end of the day, the children communicate better than the adults. The children here are the ones that kind of like say, okay, well, this is it. This is what it is. This happened here. We're going to let that go and we're going to move on. The children did that. The adults are the ones that can't let the shit go and keeps like arguing. And I'm like, this is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So, it is what it is. Everything got squashed. They went to do what they had to do. Next was their performances. They did their performance. The performances were judged by Benji, Lacey, and Timberland. Um, Madison went first. Her lyrics were, were cool that she wrote. They were cool and they were really catchy. Um, her dancing, no. No. She just came, again, she came across very... Uh, not engaged, which is what happens with her. She gets nervous, and then she seems like she's not really engaged. She looks like she's counting the seconds until the performance is over, and that just doesn't work. Um, next was Grant. The lyrics that he did were really, really good. Of course, his dancing was bad. He can't dance. He can't dance, and he came across defeated, as opposed to the one thing to keep in mind, if you can't dance, so what you can't dance? You're always the lead. So it doesn't matter if I can't dance. It's what I paid these people behind me for. They can dance. So if I can't, if I fall out of the choreography, I can just do something else. As long as it doesn't hinder what they're doing because I'm the lead. But instead of that, he kind of came across a little defeated. Um, but again, the lyrics were good. You know, the music part was good. Ashlyn performed her ass off. For the first time, we got to actually see what Ashley's mother sees in Ashley. She performed her ass off. Her lyrics were very good, I thought, for a first time. Um, and also for her being 13. This is where the 13-year-old thing comes in. Because she hasn't lived with so much of life. She doesn't have that much to talk about because she is 13 years old. But the little song was just as cute. And the way she did her inflection and her, her diction... It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all for a first time. I was impressed. And she performed the hell out of the song. She really, really did. Um, next was Ian. Ian was excellent. Because Ian can dance better than he thinks he can. And Ian actually has a real groovy swag that's actually in there. And he did some things that would work for Grant. Where the choreography where he doesn't have the, the best dance. He has this hair, so he kind of does a little hair thing and a little, you know, it's just a swag that he had about him that actually works. And with the dancing, where you're not just standing there and you're not looking like you don't know what to do next. You just, you know, fall into your own little groove. And he did that. He did a really, really good job at it. Crave Tay, Crave Tay, it was good. I can't say that it wasn't good, but it was the same old, same old. It's like the same old thing. You know, and that's what I'm starting to see from her. She's starting to come across like a one-trick pony. It's like, um, and I'm going to tell you what I get from Crave Tay. Her lyrics, they were just blah. She she really just didn't really do much with the lyrics. And she said it herself in her confessional that she kind of did her lyrics where they were really repeating itself so she could do, she could dance full out. And the thing was, the dance had became cumbersome because then she was running out of breath and stuff because she's not trained to do that. It's not what she does. But I'm going to tell you what it's like. Every time I see Crave Tay perform, it's like a watered-down version of Rihanna singing Umbrella. That's what I get from Crave Tay. 
and at this point of the competition, it's getting old. And then when you take that and you couple her personality and her mama on top of it, I just don't even want to see no more. I don't want to see no more. It's not even interesting. And then I'm going to tell you, um, well, I'll get to it. Just hold on to that. I'll get to it. So when they go in for the awards, the gold this week went to Ian. The platinum went to Crave Tay. And the diamond went to Ashlyn. Ashlyn got her first diamond. The other two, Madison and Grant, fell into the bottom. So it came out exactly as I thought. Well, no, I'm lying. It didn't come in like I thought. I thought that Ian would be platinum. I didn't think Ian would be gold. I thought Ian would be platinum. But um, the last thing, when Timberland ended up coming in, because he actually talked to, to uh, Benji Schwimmer, and he was told about the disrespect and that kind of thing and all of that. Well, the thing that worked me, when Timberland went to talk to Deneen and Crave Tank, they were disrespectful to Timberland. They felt like, well, whatever. I mean, everybody disrespects him. Who is he? Then that was their attitude. If I don't, if I don't like it, I'll just say I don't like it. And 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 if I have questions, I'm just going to ask them. You know, that was their their attitude. And they, you know, he said what he had to say. You could tell he's a little irritated. He's like, all right, well, all right, let me go. So he was leaving, and he looked up and he said, "You got, you know, you doing good. You got your two diamonds." And he went on out there on her mantle in her room. And he left out of the room. And she would say, yeah, but I should have had four of them. And her and her mother's in there kiki and cackling and laughing. Needless to say, when this is all over, said and done, Timberland, you better not have given this contract to Crave Tech. Her attitude alone is enough not to sign her. And I wouldn't give a damn what kind of money it was. There's no way I would deal with her and Deneen. No way. They are like a train wreck. You just can't look away. It really is. Anyway, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Talk about it down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Is it just me? You know, am I being picky? Or is that little duo getting on your nerves shit?